Hello and welcome back friends to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and here we want to talk about the easiest way to remember cell signaling pathways means uh, the best and fast possible way to remember any complicated cell signaling is just for you and actually uh, build a device a system which can help you to remember and recall cell signaling quite the easiest way so what is it I am calling it as a five fingers to remember concept or five finger concept of remembering cell signaling pathways and it is nothing but uh, to think about five fingers uh, so in this case it's your left uh, hand and you, you take the left hand and the palm uh, where all the writing is there right now you have five fingers right and in these five fingers uh, five important parameters of a cell signaling will be justified now whenever you're reading a cell signaling pathway these five parameters are the most important things for every single cell signaling pathway all right guys so in this video we are going to focus on the jackstat pathway jackstat pathway is a very important and interesting pathway and particularly whenever you heard the term of jackstat pathway keep one thing in your mind clear that it's all about immunology that this jackstat pathway is all about immunology so obviously it is linked with all the cell signaling goes on inside the immune system of ours that is the activation of lymphocytes and how t cells get activated how b cells gets activated how white blood cells are even formed depends on the jackstat pathway so definitely jackstat pathway in other word is the chemokine pathway or cytokine signaling pathway and that's what it's all about so again to remember and recall jackstat pathway is the most easy way is to use the five finger concept of cell signaling pathway and again as per the five finger concept you can see our fingers listed in this picture again with this with this picture so let's put uh, the actual uh, names and parameters in case of jackstat pathway by looking at this five finger concept of cell signaling so the very first parameter that that i'll show is the signaling molecule and of course the signaling molecule in this case is cytokine okay now the second important parameter receptor now we always know the receptors name is quite easy to remember because it's always linked with the name of the signaling molecule so in this case cytokine receptor we can also call them chemokine receptor although there's a difference between chemokine and cytokine we'll discuss that in some other videos but still it's a cytokine receptor the third important parameter of jackstat pathway is cellular activators and the cellular activators in this case are jack and stat obviously so jack is the protein uh, so this signaling pathway is quite easy quite simple as you can see in this picture one cytokine binds with the receptor receptor gets dimerized and thus it phosphorylates jack and once jack gets phosphorylated jack also phosphorylates the cytosolic domain of the cytokine receptor so that's that's the cellular activation process actually it's quite simple compared to the other cell signaling pathway okay now the fourth important parameter transcription factor the transcription factor in this case is stat protein dimer so stat dimer acting as a transcription factor so remember whenever jack gets activated jack phosphorylates the cytosolic domain of the cytokine receptor once the cytokine receptor cytosolic domain is phosphorylated then the stat protein which is already present in the cytosol is going to bind with that phosphorylated cytosolic domain of cytokine receptor and then they gets phosphorylated so once the stat protein gets phosphor phosphorylated two such stat proteins once phosphorylated they are going to combine with one another forms a dimer we call it stat protein dimer or stat dimer once the stat dimer forms then the stat dimer goes inside the nucleus and it will bind to the promoter and then it controls the activation of certain uh, genes uh, transcription of certain genes downstream and what are those genes and what those gene products actually do the self effects you know there are different uh, jack and different stat proteins and the combination of different jack and stat leads to the activation of different uh, transcriptional activation of different genes for example jack3 is linked with a function known as lymphocyte development where jack1 is linked with ultimate cellular effect of interferon gamma signaling where stat4 once gets activated as a dimer as a transcription factor it causes the activation of natural killer cell while on the other hand when stat 5 protein gets dimerized and gets activated goes inside the nucleus it causes the transcription of other gene products that ultimately leads to the activation and formation birth of white blood cells and there are so many other examples out there i just only put four examples but there are so many examples but remember when the jack and stat in combination they have a specific event and specific effect to be done 
So that's the regarding Jack Stat pathway. Remember, whenever you heard Jack and Stat, remember it's all about Jack's activation, phosphorylation in the cytosolic domain of cytokine receptor. Then Stat gets dimerized. Stat acts as a uh, Stat dimer acts as a transcription factor, and then the results are huge. Because in immunology, all the cytokine signaling actually depends on Jack Stat signaling. So the signaling pathway is the same, but the signaling pathway components are different. And if we change the signaling pathway component, we are going to see different effect and impact in the cell. So that's all regarding Jack Stat pathway. If you like this video, definitely like this button of uh, video like as well as share this video subscribe to my channel if you like this video at all okay and and also tell about this video to other friends and share this video to your other friends so that all can get benefit from the video